we're one week away. Our usual wall is still closed from resurfacing. Hopefully they open it tomorrow. But for now, we have our trusty parking garage wall. Yesterday was a great session. Worked on stepping in on the backhand, but this morning it was a struggle from the very beginning. I don't know why, I'm just feeling not hitting bad. I just feel frustrated whenever I miss. God, I don't know why. No reason to be. I'm hitting fine. It's, it's, it's a good morning. Yeah, just chill out for a second, buddy. I know why. It doesn't make sense. I'm like worried that somebody's gonna come by and tell me I gotta leave. No, I've been here a bunch of times, it's been fine. But for some reason, I'm not focusing on my hit. When I mess up, then I get pissed off because I'm not focusing. So, this is good. This could be a good exercise and focus. Let's bring it right back here. All right. Looks like it's another mental focus day. And I think that's something worth digging into a little bit. You know, most of us aren't able to play tennis in a vacuum. Like we have all of our worries and anxieties from everyday life and tennis shouldn't be something that adds to it. It should be a reprieve from those things, right? But here I am getting mad at my strokes again, just heaping more load onto my already loaded shoulders. And I feel like I say this every couple days, but today I want to work on letting that go. I'd much rather these mornings build up my game and my character than being another thing that just tries to tear me down. Yeah, I'm not moving my feet, huh? Definitely not moving my feet. All right, come on. It's so much better when I move my feet. Getting a split step in there, it just sets the tempo for the timing. No wonder it's a basic fundamental. Which brings up something that I realized today. Earlier I said I was distracted and not focusing. And that's something you hear a lot, right? Like you need to focus or like, where's your focus? But what does that mean? Like focus on what? Well, I think for me and probably for most players out there, this is the answer focus on the fundamentals. It's not glamorous, it's not bougie, but it works. The fundamentals, man. Well, I guess there's a reason you move your feet. It really helps. <laughs> but that leaves me with a question. So clearly the fundamentals are important, but then why is it so hard to remember that? I mean, it's not hard, that's the thing. It's almost like a pride thing in a way, right? Like, I understand the benefits of focusing on the fundamentals, but in a way, I feel like I shouldn't have to focus on the fundamentals. Like, I should be, or I want to be good enough that I have the fundamentals mastered. But I'm starting to wonder if that kind of mastery is even a real thing. Like the pros also work on fundamentals, right? That reminds me of, I think it was the second week where I said tennis isn't easy, but it is simple. That's basically this. There's only a handful of fundamentals that you need in order to execute a successful shot. That's the simple part. The hard part is doing the actual execution of those fundamentals. Like that's the journey then. That's the tennis journey we're all on, trying to consistently execute the fundamentals. And clearly, the wall is a great place to practice that. Well, there's day 23. Thanks for watching this far. I hope this has been helpful or encouraging. It's been hugely beneficial for me, so I hope you're able to get something out of this too. Like and subscribe. I'll try the other wall again tomorrow. Hopefully it's open. Don't forget to serve big and string often.